What up YouTube, Abby here from Quiz Me Pretty. Welcome back to my channel. <sighs> I don't know if you've noticed, but I've turned into a mermaid. <laughs> I'm so excited to show you guys how to get these really pretty beachy waves today using a flat iron. I've never showed you this technique before, so look forward to that. And then also I have this really easy mermaid makeup tutorial. Seriously, if I can do it, you guys can do it. A big huge thank you to Remington for sponsoring it. Don't forget to subscribe down below. You can click that little bell button and it'll even notify you of new videos. How awesome is that? So go click that down there and let's get started. First things first, I am priming my lids with Max Paint Pot in Painterly, and then I'm gonna pull out my trusty Pure Cosmetics, my little pony palette. This has some pretty awesome colors in it, but feel free to use whatever you have on hand. And I'm just taking the blue color first, and with a small fluffy brush, I'm blending it right on the crease. And then I'm taking this purple color, and with the same fluffy brush, I'm just blending it all over the lid. And I brought the color up a little bit too high, so I'm just gonna roll with it, and I'm adding a little bit more blue along the crease before I add my sparkles. So this is one of my favorite products. It's the Stila Glitter and Glow Liquid Eyeshadow. This is the color Diamond Dust, and I'm just putting it all over the lid. And you'll find that it blends really well. It's really easy to apply. You don't need any glue or anything, and it is so sparkly. And then I'm just lining my lids real quick before applying my mascara. Mascara. This is my favorite mascara. It's the Pure Cosmetics Magnetic Mascara, and it's literally the best. So put on your mascara, and one little hack that I have is to take a lash curler, and I'm just pressing the eyelashes up. I'm not actually curling them. I'm just pressing them up so that they're nice and luminous. Now that our eyes are done, we're going to move on to the scales, so you're going to need some fishnets. There's just no pretty way to put this on. <laughs> My fishnets are pretty thick. Thinner ones with a smaller pattern would have worked better. But we're gonna put it over our face. And here I'm just trying to tighten up that pattern so that I get smaller scales. So next I'm just using my finger and taking that blue shadow. And what we're gonna do is press it into the skin right over the fishnets. You wanna make sure that the fishnets don't move throughout this process just because they're basically our stencil. And when we take them off, we want a beautiful mermaid to appear. <laughs> so I'm just taking a bunch of different colors here, adding more purple, and then I'm using some green and just filling in the space, making sure that I'm covering the areas where I want color. So the forehead, the temples, and cheek area. When you've added all the color you want, go ahead and remove the fishnets. And look, how pretty is that? I'm obsessed. And then I'm gonna take this light seafoam green color and just a blush brush and we're gonna blend it into the hollow of our cheeks above our temples and right on our nose, kind of where we would contour a little bit. This is just gonna add that pretty iridescent color to the face. And then before we move on, I'm gonna add some right along the hairline, kind of where you would contour along the forehead. And we're almost finished. I'm just adding some more sparkle. So this is that Stila eyeshadow again that I was using earlier and I'm blending it all over. Really not trying to be subtle here with that shine. And then I'm taking it even one step further and adding actual glitter and pressing it onto the skin. So I'll link up some similar products below, but this is gonna go right above the cheekbones, temples, and then above the brows. And then I'm taking some Cover FX highlight here, just putting on the tip of my nose, the cupid's bow, and pressing what's left over on my hands into the skin. The last product for our face is the lip, and I ended up choosing purple. I think a hot pink would have really brightened up the look though. I can't decide what I would have liked better. This is the Lip Sense shade Lilac Lacquer, and then I'm using a sparkle glitter gloss. And there you have it, our mermaid makeup is done. Now it's time for the waves and I'm so, so, so excited to show you this technique. You're gonna need a straightener. This is the Remington One Inch Color Care Flat Iron from Target and it has a heat control sensor on it. This button right here will turn it on and it helps protect color treated hair from damage and color fading. So I highly recommend this tool. And then I'm also gonna be using some new laced hair extensions. You gotta have the long mermaid hair for this and there's no better hair than laced. So I'll make sure to link all of these things up in the description below, but we're gonna take a small section of hair from the nape of our neck and then clip the rest of the hair up and out of the way. Spray it with your heat protectant of choice and then we're finally onto the waves. You're gonna place the straightener near the root and then as you're pulling down, turn your wrists towards your face and then away from your face towards your face and then away from your face. And you see how it gives that little kink in the hair? That is the wave. So we're gonna practice this motion again. Just put out your hand and bring your wrist towards your face 
and away from your face, towards your face, and away from your face. And that's what we're gonna be doing on all of these sections of hair. I really love the Remington Color Care Straightener. So the ceramic plates have actually been infused with keratin oil and UV filters and micro conditioners. So it adds shine and vibrancy back into the hair. And once the Color Care Sensor button is activated, the straightener will actually measure the temperature on the hair and adjust on its own to protect from heat damage and color fading. So it's pretty rad. I'll make sure to link this and Remington's full Color Care collection up in the description box. Now that we're finished with that first layer, I'm gonna tease the roots and then add some extensions. You can see here that the roots on my extensions are a little bit darker. I just had my hairstylist smudge them and I feel like it makes all the difference. So if you're gonna invest in hair extensions, just make sure that they're toned and trimmed and that they blend perfectly with your hair. And finally, the waves are complete. So I'm gonna spray some sea salt texture spray into the hair just to give it a bit more texture. And voila, what do you guys think? Do you love it? I'm actually gonna change into this really cute shirt I found off of Amazon. And then also I snagged this seashell hair accessory. So I'm just pinning my bangs back and then wrapping it around the crown of my head and tying it together near my part. And then to add a little bit more dramatic theatrics to the style, I'm really just roughing up the hair and using my fingers and combing in some more texture. And now let me introduce you to my six-year-old. The Star Queen Mermaid. She has a crown and her face. Have you seen it? It's covered with glitter. She's the boss of everything. She gets to do whatever she wants. So, that's the story of the princess. Behold, the beautiful Princess Sammy! <laughs> do you love it? Yeah. Like how much? A lot. What are your thoughts on this? I'm um, looking amazing. You think you look amazing? Guys, thanks so much for watching this video. We hope you loved it. We loved hanging out with you and turning into mermaids. Me and Savvy do a lot of Halloween tutorials, so if you're interested in finding any more of those videos, make sure to check out below and we'll link them for you. But other than that, we will see you in the, the next, next one. one. Bye, guys. Bye. See you in the next one. See you in the next one. <laughs> I, my mom never showed me these, and I went this. You wanna know why I didn't show you those? Cause you think that I would get into them and start putting them everywhere. Would you have? Yep, I would. <laughs> Cause I am um, like, I love glitter. Like glitter's my favorite, especially on me.